Hi, my name is Robert Levy. I'm with Hagerman and & Company and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you today a way of doing your openings if you're using Revit structure. So this one is for uh, you know generally engineers if you're doing structural designs and you're doing your openings. Um, what happens in Revit is that you have a uh, an opening family and when you use the opening family it's separate from the actual lintel that goes above the opening and in general when we do a certain opening if you're doing masonry you know you'll probably have a pretty common uh, lintel that you'll use with that opening so um, what this does is it just makes it easier for you to put in your openings and your lintels together because if you were to put it separate you have to go back and add a lintel to every single opening it gets very uh, repetitive so what I've done was I've created this family here which is uh, it's still an opening family so it's created just like a normal um, opening and it has a uh, has another family inside of it which is the lintel so this has to be done a certain way because if you were to just use a a beam as your lintel uh, it might not work properly because when you resize your opening the beam will not want to resize properly together with the opening and you'll have problems with uh, constraining your model that way so the way that that I would do this is um, start with uh, an opening family so open up open up Revit's existing uh, opening family in the family library so if you go under openings start with that family the opening family and in the opening family uh, you're going to insert your other your other lintel family so to do the lintel I would create one from scratch it's actually easier so just start a new family start with the generic model do not use the do not use the structural framing family otherwise you're gonna have problems with the constraints the structural family framing family was designed and programmed to be used in a normal project not the way that we're using it so so here I have a, a generic family that I'm starting and this is going to be the lintel so you're going to just use an extrusion and you're going to model it out and um, what you should have is you should have something uh, let me show you an example I've modeled one already here so you can see so here I have in section the lintel looks like a like a T I have added some parameters to it and in 3d it looks like this uh, if you wanna schedule this lintel and make it so it shows up on the schedule um, you probably wanna change the category to a structural framing category um, it's kind of weird if you if you start out with the structural framing as a as a category if you use that template it's not going to work well but if you switch to the structural framing after the fact like I'm telling you to do then it'll work just fine so I just set it to structural framing category and then you make it a um, you make it a shared family and uh, you go ahead and load that into your your opening family and then when you insert it into here you you constrain it so that it's above the uh, the window or you know the opening it's above the opening so um, the the trick here is uh, in the parameters so you can you can put a formula so that the the length of the lintel is a little bit larger than the width of the opening so if you go here to your family types 
Um, I've added a parameter that controls the length of the lintel and I've just added a simple formula which is the width plus one foot and that's the width of the the actual opening. It takes that width and it adds a foot to it. And so what it allows you to do is it allows you to uh, resize the opening and the lintel um, the length of the lintel will resize automatically. So just as a test, I'm going to change the size of my opening. I'm going to change it from a 16 by 48 to a 24 by 48. And you can see here, my lintel is still a little bit larger than the actual opening. So once you have this done, just uh, do a save as on this opening and save it as something like opening with lintel so that you don't overwrite the original opening in Revit and then uh, load it into your project. So you should be able to uh, to resize the the opening at any point. So for example I'll go to a 24 and you can see that the lintel resizes automatically.